good morning children welcome to today's maths class so in the last class you have learned how to add the large numbers and how to subtract the large numbers you were dealing with addition of large numbers and subtraction of large numbers so so far you have learned two fundamental operations yes and you have even solved the word problems involving addition operation as well as subtraction operation so in today's class you are going to learn how to find the missing digits involving addition operation as well as subtraction operation yes so let's get started with addition so how do we add the given large numbers we use two terms term 1 is addend and term 2 is sum yes so in addition we use two terms addend and the sum the first large number to be added we call it as addend as well as the second large number also we call it as addend and the answer we obtain for addition is called the sum yes so addend plus addend gives you sum now we are going to start with missing digits involving addition operation that means suppose i consider the first large number as addend 1 and i consider the second one as addend 2 and the answer we obtain is called sum yes suppose addend 1 is missing the digit in addend 1's place is missing then the sum and addend 2 are given then how to find addend 1 that is sum minus addend 1 gives you addend 2 and how to find addend 1 sum minus addend 2 gives you addend 1 yes here i'm just taking the first digit the first value as addend 1 and the second value as addend 2 the sum remains the same for your convenience i just changed it to addend 1 and addend 2 okay so to find addend 2 you subtract sum minus addend 1 you get addend 2 and sum minus addend 2 gives you addend 1 now let's take an example wherein you need to find the missing digits like fill in the boxes to complete the following addition that means you have to find the missing digits in the addition operation to complete the addition so here are the digits 859765 which we call it as addend yes here i'm taking it as addend 1 now in addend 2 you can see a few digits are missing and only a few digits are given and the digits given are 3 and 5 according to the places you have to find the 10000th place digit hundreds as well as ones place digit in addend to and we are dealing with addition children remember so we need to add them wherein you can find a few digits given in sum also yes so you need to find the digit in lakhs place and thousands place to get the sum so let's see how to find the missing digits now i'll start with ones column 5 as the addend you have 5 as the addend and 3 as the sum you need to find addend 2 how did i get 8 here that is remember children always the sum should be greater than addends yes but here you have the sum that is 3 which is less than 5 then in ones place it should be 13 yes so 13 means how do you write 13 1 in tens place 1 carried in tens place and 3 in ones place now how do you get add in 2 add in 2 you will get by subtracting the sum from you will subtract the sum 
and add in 1. Yes, so 13 minus 5 gives you 8. Now, let's check in tens, please. Though the digits are given, you will have to check because 1 is being carried in tens, please. Right? So 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 5 is 12 in tens column. So 2 is in tens column and 1 should be carried in hundreds place. Right? So now let's continue uh, with hundreds column. 7 plus 1 that is 8 and 3 is the sum in hundreds column. Again, 3 is less than 8. Why 8? Because 7 plus 1 carried. That is 8. So again, the sum is less than add in. Then in hundreds place, the sum should be 13. So 13 minus 8 will give you 5. And how do you write 13? 1 carried in thousands place because you are adding hundreds column. Right? So the missing digit is 13 minus 8, that is 5 in hundreds column. Now in thousands column, you have 9 plus 3, that is 12, plus 1 carried. In total, it is 13 in thousands column. So 3 in thousands column and 1 carried in 10 thousands place. Now, 5 plus 1 in 10 thousands column, that is 6. And the sum is given as 4. Again, the sum is less than the add -in. Yes? So, here you have the sum in 10 thousands place, that is 14. So, 14 minus sum minus add -in gives you add -in 2. Yes? Sum minus add -in 1 gives you add -in 2. So, 14 minus 6 gives you 8. So, how do you write that 14? 4 in 10 thousands, 1 in lakhs place. Yes? Now in lakhs place, you have 8 plus 1 carried. So you get 9 as the sum. So this is how you find the missing digits involving addition operation. Yes? Now let's start subtraction. In subtraction, we deal with three terms. The first one is minuend. The second one is suprahend. And the third term is the difference. The larger number, we take it as first number to subtract from, is called the minuend. And the number which is being subtracted from the larger number is called suprahend. And the result you obtain in subtraction is called the difference. Yes? So how do we find the difference between two numbers? Minuend minus suprahend gives you the difference. Now, suppose minuend is missing. We are dealing with missing digits, right? So minuend you need to find and the difference as well as the suprahend are given. Then you have the formula difference plus suprahend gives you minuend. In case suprahend is missing, you have to find the suprahend and minuend and difference are given. Then you have the formula minuend minus the difference which will give you suprahend. Right? Now let's get started with an example wherein you need to find the missing digits involving subtraction operation. So fill in the boxes. This way you get the question, children. Fill in the boxes to complete the following subtraction. So here are the digits given to you. And you can see a few digits are missing. Right? So you are dealing with subtraction now. And the places here are wherein ones place tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand and lakh. Correct? So the first large number that is the minuend is having all the digits and we read the number as 2,63,451. 
and in saprahen the second number which has to be subtracted from menuend you have only two digits given and those two digits are 2 and 7 and the remaining digits you need to find isn't it so here i have one in ones place and the saprahand is missing whereas the difference is 8 so how to find the value here before that you have been given the difference also but in difference only a few digits are given and the first digit in the difference is missing so this is what is the question given to you minuend all the digits are given but saprahend and difference you need to find the digits yes so we have the places lakhs uh, ones tens hundreds thousand ten thousand and lakh correct so let's get started with subtraction from ones column yes so in ones column you have 1 as the minuend 8 as the difference so how to find the saprahend here here the difference is 8 but the minuend should be the greater one the larger one isn't it compared to the difference yes we have the minuend and the saprahend and the difference is also given wherein the missing digits you need to find whereas in ones place you have 1 and difference is 8 in ones column so 1 is less than 8 should not be because always the minuend should be greater than the difference so you need to borrow 1 from tens place and in ones place you get 11 so 11 minus 8 11 minus a number should be 8 what should be the number how to find the saprahend you have the formula that is minuend minus the difference gives you saprahend so 11 minus 8 that is 3 yes so in ones place you borrowed one digit one from tens place isn't it so tens place you have 5 but 5 has already given one number to ones place so 5 should be 14 because you're getting another number from 100 so you have 14 minus 7 that is 7 here the digits are already given now let's continue with hundreds column in hundreds column you have 4 and the difference is 3 again you need to find the saprahend here and make sure children you check the places here according to the columns you will check now 4 minus a number should be 3 but before that is 4 4 has given one number to tens place so 4 is actually 3 now yes so 3 minus a number is 3 what should be that digit that is 0 minuend minus the difference gives you saprahend so 3 minus 3 that is 0 in hundreds column now in thousands column you have 3 minus 2 that is 1 so it's correct now we'll continue with 10 thousands place yes in 10 thousands column you have 6 and that is the minuend and saprahend is missing whereas the difference is 7 again you have minuend less than the difference then what do you have to do you need to take one number from lakhs place that is 2 2 will become 1 and 6 in 10 thousands will be 16 yes so 16 minus a number should be 7 what should be the number minuend minus the difference 16 minus 7 will give you the saprahend and that is 9 now in lakhs place you have 1 so to get the difference you will take that one as it is because 1 minus 0 there is no number so 1 minus 0 is 1 itself so this is how you find the missing digits in addition as well as in subtraction operation
hope you're clear with the concept of missing digits, how to find the digits involving addition operation and subtraction operation children. And that's all for today. Hope you have understood the concept and you're going to do the given assignment on your own, which is completely on missing digits involving addition operation and subtraction operation. Thank you.